Hey guys, and welcome to today's clip. Today I want to give uh, especially young badminton players five good tips uh, on how to become better. Um, so uh, let's start with the first tip. I find that uh, nowadays um, young kids get really, really serious really quickly. Um, and I think that um, it's really, really important to keep uh, the fun in it. Uh, you started because you thought badminton was fun and you have to remember that. Um, I think if you, if you train serious but also remember to uh, play around, I think that you will be a much better badminton player, especially when you're just young and just got started. And the second tip would be to watch a lot of YouTube. Uh, when I just started, uh, I watched a lot of matches on YouTube. Uh, all my favorite players, I spent a lot of hours uh, watching them play, watching how they did, and then afterwards I went to the hall and tried to, to practice all their good shots. So uh, my next tip would be to watch a lot of YouTube and of course watch all my matches. The third tip would be to have respect. Uh, not only respect for your coaches, but also respect for your uh, teammates. I don't care uh, how much better you are um, than your current teammates, because it might just be that when you get younger, they're better than you. And badminton might be, uh, you know, an individual sport, but in the end, you have to have some good sparring partners to be a better player. So you should respect everyone, and you should um, not just you know, be arrogant because you think that you're better than them because you need other good players to become uh, the best version of yourself as a player. So I think that you should, uh, you should respect everyone and uh, in that way you will all help each other to, you know, become better players. So respect is really, really important. Tip number four will be to spend time on your flexibility. Um, at least spend uh, around 10 minutes every day doing some kind of flexibility training. It can be everything from stretching to some form rolling and stuff like that because it will prevent injuries and after that you can you know, move more freely and I think just think that it's so, so important to uh, work on your flexibility and also your stability and strength. So um, get some good knowledge about the flexibility training and some good uh, strength exercises starting out. You don't have to throw a lot of weight on, uh, you know, on the bar and just stand there squatting. You have to, you know, work work on your base, and then you can slowly move up in weight. Uh, so take it easy, work on your flexibility, and then you can start doing some strength training. My fifth and last tip would be to take responsibility for your own training. You don't need a coach all the time telling you what to do. Uh, if you want to do some more training, you can collect some youth shuttles and together with your teammate you can you know, feed each other, play some small games and have fun. Um, even though it's really, really important to have some uh, individual training, it's not a must. I didn't have any individual training when I was a young kid. Uh, it was only when I got older and older I started to work you know, one on one. So even though it can be nice, you can still do a lot of yourself if you really want it. So um, seek knowledge and take responsibility. Okay guys, um, it was all for today. I really hope that you liked these tips. If you did, please leave a comment uh, down below, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And then, uh, you know, in the next clip, uh, I will try to answer all the best ones. Appreciate the support and uh, see you all soon, both on and outside the court. Take care.